Yeah, no, so, so Hi everyone, my name is Miss Huang and I'm here to tell you a story about uh, a patient and how genomics saved his life. So um, Peter right here was feeling really ill. He had symptoms like weak muscles, felt really sick, and Peter's mom decided to take her to the doctor. Dr. Gray over here decided that it was probably a good idea to do a blood test on Peter. And Peter um, gave a blood test so that the, the doctor can see the different types of cells in his body. Now, inside the cells of his body, do I have cells here? Um, we see DNA. And DNA, if you take a look at this, um, is a combination of base pairs that include A, oh, is it backwards? That includes A, G, C, and T. And the combination of these base pairs leads to different types of proteins. So um, in order to figure out if he has a certain genetic disease, what the doctor would do, the lab scientist, their doctor, would take a device like this, take a sample of DNA, and then place it into a tube like this. Now this tube will then be placed in a machine called a PCR machine, and the PCR machine makes lots of copies of this DNA. Now, while uh, the doctor interprets the DNA sequence, Peter's health deteriorates tremendously, and um, the mom gets really worried. So what the doctor does is starts interpreting the sequence to figure out if a protein is wrong with Peter. So proteins look like this. And they make up your muscle, they make up uh, your blood, they make up all living things in the body. And this unit, if there's something wrong with it, can cause disease. So it turns out Peter has a genetic disorder that causes his muscles to become weakened. Uh, it's called MS. So um, what the doctor would do is take this information and possibly design medications so that Peter would get better. Um, luckily, there are treatments for MS to alleviate the symptoms, and um, even though it's not a curable disease, it's a help. It's helpful to know uh, that Peter has this disorder and can be treated. All right, thank you.